Hey guys, what's up? It's John here again from Toxic Spikes, bringing you another narrated Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, dueling Network duel today. This was a duel I had... I don't know who it was against. I don't know his name or if he has a YouTube channel. But I was using my Chaos deck and my Chaos Agents. And he was using a um, an Agents deck too, I believe. It was a mirror match. So uh, I heard that, you know, Agents were supposed to be the top deck of the format or one of them. So I decided to try out an Agent deck myself. Um, as you can see, I lead off with a pretty good hand. I've got the Veiler. I've got the Sangin. I've got Archlord Christia, um, Black Luster Soldier, and Hyperion. I'm getting ready to throw my Effect Veiler right into the grave, because he just added um, Agent of Mystery to his hand. Now, for those of you who don't know, Effect Veiler is a card that when you discard it from your hand, you can negate the effects of one of your uh, opponent's face-up monsters until the end phase. Uh, you can only activate it during their main phase, but why it's so useful is that right there. Um, anything that searches, anything, <clears throat> any negative effects like anti-meta effects, any looks like Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer attacks you, Valor. Now it can't remove from play monsters from your graveyard. Stuff like that. It's a very versatile card, very splashable into almost any deck. So, um, yeah. Now he's going to go ahead and set two back row. Well, he's going to destroy Sangin first. I get the search. Uh, I believe I add an Agent of Mystery of my own to my hand, and yeah, so things are looking pretty good here. My plan is to just go ahead and normal summon Agent of Mystery, add Saturn to my hand, remove from play Mystery, summon Hyperion, and then go from there. But as you'll see, he has other plans for me, because he activates Trap Dust Shoot. Now Trap Dust Shoot, in my opinion, is one of the, if not the best trap cards in the game. Uh, if your opponent has four more cards in their hand, you get to look at their hand, choose a monster card, and return it back to the deck. It's very it's like a watered-down Forceful Sentry. And if you don't know, Forceful Sentry is a banned card for a reason. It's very good. The only drawbacks is they have to have four more cards in their hand, so late game it can be kind of dead, but I I like Trap Dust Shoot. And if I only run run yeah, if I only run one trap in the deck, it's usually gonna be Dust Shoot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove from play a light in the dark. I get um, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, probably one of the most ridiculously broken cards in the game right now, because as you can see, using his effect, not only can I attack once, but I can attack twice in a row, because I destroyed a monster by battle, and swing for 5,000 damage in one turn. Now, he kind of turns it around here, though, because he pulls a Dark Hole. If he didn't pull that Dark Hole, it probably would have been game, I'm not going to lie. And now I'm going to proceed to get some of the deadest hands I've had in my life, like, no joke. Um, <clears throat> right here, I have a Shine Ball, a Hyperion, and a Christian. I can't do much with this. Christian can only special summon if I have exactly four fairy types in the grave. And Master Hyperion, I can really only summon him if I remove from play an agent. I mean, I could sacrifice two monsters, but that's kind of counterproductive to the deck, so he's not going to hit the field anytime soon. Um, I'm just going to, you know, leave my Mystical Shine Ball face down in defense on the field. Um... Uh, protect my life points, and then I pull a tour guide. I'm like, yes, tour guide! I'll go ahead and normal summon him, or her, rather. <laughs> use her effect, search out another tour guide. I already used up my Sangin. Uh, tour guide's effect makes it so that if you have, uh, when she's summoned, you can summon another level 3 or lower fiend type monster from your deck. So it's really good for making uh, rank 3 XYZ monsters. Except he's going to pull a torrential. So there goes my whole game plan. If I were him, I probably would have waited until I brought out like Levier or Leviathan Dragon and then Torrential, but then again, I could just pull priority on him with Levier, so I guess he made the smart choice. Uh, he's going to attack me directly for some major damage here. He's going to use Jupiter's effect. He can move from play an ancient monster to gain 800 attacks, so... And then I pull Birdman. Birdman might seem like an odd choice for this deck, but it's actually very good, because with Saturn, it can make Trish in one play, like, for the cost of 1,500 life points. So, he's really good. Combos with Saturn. Um, now I'm going to draw into Trag, so I'm like, okay... This is going to be a risky move here. I got to take some direct damage, special track to the field, and now he's going to go ahead and remove from play Earth, I believe, to go ahead and get Master Hyperion. So I'm like, oh crap. Um, if he goes ahead and attacks with Jupiter first, then I could be in some serious trouble. But he attacks with Hyperion first. This is why you never attack with your higher um, attack monster. If they're waiting to drop Gores, they're waiting to drop Trag, you want to save your higher monster's attack for the second um, attack. So now he's at an, uh, an odd situation here. Is he going to sacrifice his Jupiter? 
Or is he just going to leave Trag on the field? Now, in my opinion, I would never leave Trag on the field. It is deadly, because amongst its, you know, gain attack for every card in your hand effect, it has another effect that people tend to forget about. If I send a monster from my hand to the graveyard that is the same level as the monster of my opponent, I can take control of them. So I take control of Hyperion, and that's pretty much going to be game. He just quits, I think. He rage quits. So anyways, yeah. Uh, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know my last two uploads have been Pokemon, so I tried to balance it out with something different today. So rate, comment, sub, and peace, guys.